Thank you, Angie. Now this is the, uh, come on, buddy. This is Cindy's square that's going to be added to the National Quilt. Dixie helped us put this together. She's responsible for Cindy's name. She sewed it right there. So if anybody has brought something that they would like to add, well, then they can just, just come forward one at a time. Scott, why don't you start? I made this because Mom loved these flowers. She said they never die. They just go to sleep and come again the next year. Stuart and Cindy went to Paris on their honeymoon. And Cindy often told me that it was one of the most beautiful times in her life. And so we thought that this should be included here. Paris is known as the city of light. And to me, Cindy was a symbol of light. And she helped us to illuminate our lives with truth and with understanding. Symbolizes beauty. And Cindy was a beautiful person inside and out. This is called a friendship heart. And inside the quotation is from Robert Louis Stevenson. And it reads that a friend is a present we give ourselves. When Cindy was in the fifth grade, she had to do something special in an assembly. We all had to do something. And her favorite movie was The Wizard of Oz. So she decided that she would sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And she practiced it, and she practiced it, and she practiced it. But on the day of the assembly, she got cold feet. And she decided that she couldn't do it. So she came up with this idea that if I sang it with her, she would be able to. And she convinced a teacher that I should stand behind the curtain and sing along. And so when she started to sing, these two voices <laughs> came out. <laughs> and after that, whenever there was something that one of us thought we couldn't do. We would get together and we would sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And I've always thought of that as Cindy's theme song because that song has so much hope. And so did Cindy. Thank you, Karen. Um, would anybody else like to add something? I would. Uncle Stewart. Uh, it's no secret to anyone here that I opposed my uncle's marriage. When I first found out that Cindy had AIDS, I was very terrified for him. I did some terrible things. Things which I regret. I hurt Cindy. But incredibly, she forgave me. I want to thank Cindy for teaching me the lesson of forgiveness. 
and for making my Uncle Stuart so happy. Before... Before I ever met Cindy, I had this wonderful dream. I was riding on a carousel, and I was trying to catch the brass ring, and I couldn't get it, and finally, it just suddenly sort of jumped into my hand. And I, when I looked at it, I realized that it wasn't brass at all, it was gold. And I asked Jeremy, I remember, what that meant, and he said, well, I don't know, but it must be something very good is going to happen. And it was the next day that Scott and Cindy walked into the gallery and changed my life. Before I met her, I had a kind of an emptiness inside of me, but when I, when we were together, it just wasn't there anymore. Cindy had a, a wonderful love of the simplest things, things that other people just don't notice or take for granted. Things like, she, she got very excited about the first snowfall. And to get very happy about a field of wildflowers. She used to get up early in the morning just to watch the sunrise. I mean, there were a lot of things that made her really happy. And I loved her so much and I thank God for every day we had together and for our son, Scott. Dear God, we thank you for Cindy's life and for letting her life touch ours and for our son, Scott, of whom she was very proud I pray that you help and guide me in raising him. I know that she is safe in your keeping and you'll watch over her forever and ever. Amen. 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 Cindy was a very good example, I think, for all of us to live our lives to the fullest and to love each other. If we can do that, I know we'll make her very happy.